Guess who? That wasn't the speed while I saw my meditation the other day. And I, I just, I tagged it because I didn't know if it'd be useful in treating um, avian flu with the birds. Because clearly that's one angle, isn't it? But it was white speed while I saw, which is why I googled white speed one. And then that other plant came up like that one, the purple spider one. That I just ticked. But white. Now, I don't know if it's got similar medicinal properties. So... You've got more people to pull things out of other stuff. But I saw white speedwell. Um, what is speedwell? It's like a ground thing, isn't it? A really tiny, tiny um, thing. A tiny thing. A bit like that Pennywise stuff or like a tiny pansy type thing. But different. Anyway, white speedwell. Um, that came up the other day when I woke up with a cough. Well, woke up two seconds after I had that cup of tea in the playhouse. Um, <laughs> I know how you work with your packets, your packets of disappearing, disappearing gash stuff. I know, I know. I've I've told you before. I've worked in tech. I've worked in. I've 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 ordered things around in an office, and I know how these um, what are they called, not secret societies. No. Um, Databases work, etc. Moving parcels around. Um, and also, a deep throat conspiracy, as you know. Also, also, I might, it just might have been my imagination. But uh, all I'm saying is, I got that white speed well afterwards, and it might be useful because this is how we've done things before, isn't it? You, you fucking load me with fucking diseases, and I tell you how I would deal with them, not actually having them. Not actually knowing what I've been given, blind testing it, if you like. So that was one thing. Um, I don't know if that's for a reason. Speedwell, though. It's probably called Speedwell for a reason. Probably. Um, maybe it speeds you to the well. I don't know. Down the well. Why did I just come into that? Well, I I just did, didn't I? It's Taoist. It's the Taoist manoeuvre strategy. But I was going to just say, I was looking at my um, altar just now, downstairs. The one I call the Crawley altar. The creepy Crawley one. I've got loads of altars, haven't I? This is my dark mother's altar I'm up here. I've got the Buddhist altar downstairs. The family oil was in the back room. And that was another Buddhist one. Uh <laughs> Goldbricks laughing away. Anyway, the creepy crawly altar because he was sort of into his animals and things, wasn't he? So I just call it the crawly altar anyway. So I was just looking at it just now, and my copper pot was on it with the lace in it, and it was like I did that the other week, didn't I? Like uh, I can't remember what I said. Rub it round thrice times the pot. Uh, shake the cloth. Say I forgot. And then you should find coins around. It's a game we play called Lost and Found. I don't know, dipping the well. There's all different names, but anyway. So I just did it and remembered. And then I've got this chick pot on there. And I looked in there and there was like one pound and ten pence. I'm playing Chelsea Stretch for the game. I put it in the chick pot anyway, blah, blah. So I looked at that and there was a few coins in another pot. The mushroom one that I've made on another shelf. But I was also looking at it. There's the horses on there, isn't it? The Palomino that I put on there, which is sort of the Native American, which was on also with the potatoes. There was a few little potatoes in a bowl that I'd put on there before I started this whole potato thing. And so, but what I was thinking is, well, they come from the ground. So that's a gift from the ground. There was also like 30p on that shelf. That's the ground gift. And then higher up with the chick pot money box. And there's also the peacock on there. Which the peacock I just put on there was like a mantric thing, isn't it? The peacocks in the garden they eat the poison. That's a Buddhist thing. There's another peacock up there. It's just I just look at it and like ponder it. Buddhist thing is never stop studying the scriptures. So literally overthink things as much as you want on one hand. Don't stop thinking about what it could mean. Um So that was the bird. So anyway, on that shelf there's a jar with some coffee beans in it. Um 
it did have some chocolate, ginger and coffee. There's a few coffee beans in it as well, flavoured ones that I'd got from Wilco's. But they were sort of a treat, so I'd put them on the altar for blessing. Um, it, again, when you go to eat them, it's just an awareness of it's like blah, blah, blah. It's been put in a glass jar, blah, blah, blah. So they were there. Anyway, tucked away. But I just thought, so that's the air, isn't it? So the, the cough is the air. That goes back to the, the earth and the air. What? The earth and the air. The earth. The potatoes come from the earth. But the coffee, the, the caffeine is to do with the air. Let's go backgrounds. We were talking on earlier on about the crystal method. <laughs> the bag of rocks around my shoulder. Who likes it in my classroom? No one really. Why are you all fuck off then? Right, that's not... I was saying, I just tagged into uh, my friend's about the full, well she said about not sleeping on the full moon, I said yeah it's in Aries, it's just a bit of a joke, I was just joking, he said the other day, oh fucking hell the full moon's in Aries, I didn't sleep for about three days running up to it, um, and then no it's the moon, well no not three days, and I did sleep a bit, but I'd been drinking coffee, again, and I haven't for ages, and you're not supposed to drink coffee around the full moon, or drink alcohol, <laughs> if you do all this sort of shit, you're supposed to be cleansing, cleansing, but it's also about saying goodbye to things, blah, blah. I'd not thought about that when I bought coffee. It's just one of those coincidences that came up again. And then I was saying to someone the other day that the full men's supposed to be about saying goodbye. So say often old habits come up, raise up again. So if you drink, you might go back to drinking. Or like overeating or blah, 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 whatever it is you have to say goodbye to. And then... You sort of think, oh, Jesus Christ, no, I've done it again. I've got drunk. I've blown it off. I've done this thing that I've tried to give up doing, old habits, blah, blah, blah. And um, so that's part of the, part of the uh, thing of saying goodbye to the thing. You know, whatever it is will raise its head. Um, so I was talking about that song every day. Anyway. But what I'm thinking now is, so the coffee beans are connected to the air. Well, they are a mile to anyway, um, with the birds. But also, I was thinking, it's a tree thing, because it's on that shelf with the tree things. And the... So the money in the chick pot is a gift back from the birds, because I feed them, and so they're treating me back for the coffee. Shut up, she said. And, um... The sort of lesser money, the 30p or whatever it was, was on the potato shelf for the basics, the earth food. Uh, just to overthink it or underthink it, it doesn't really matter. Um, from the horses, which I also looked after, I suppose. I went and groomed them and gave them odd biscuits, didn't I? So their spirits are sort of looking after me back. And the one on the top shelf is sort of the Appalachia, but it's a dapple grey. I always think of it, that was more of a dapple when I bought it, but it is similar to the, Daff the Appalachias on the, uh, on the show. I thought of Appalachias being more uh, like the red tone Appalachia when I was growing up. Not really <laughs> that important. I just always wanted those two horses when I was little, so I bought them from the toy shop. Um, and I got the, the Palomino the other day, mostly because I'd found those trash jewels in my thing, and I talked about that in my show us. And I said that was my, what was it? I was doing a, what, what did I say? That came up from Trixie and Kataya. Not fuck junk. What is it? Ugh. We are all fucked on, can't we? We are the unwanted, <laughs> the unwanted children of Satan. <laughs> Our parents had us and then dissed us off. That's fuck junk. Um, fuck trash, that's the word. So they were my fuck trash beads anyway. Uh, I'll show you. So we were just doing fuck trash for Halloween, I suppose. But I got the Palomino for the fuck trash. There they are, look, fuck trash beads. They're sort of jewels, but like, trash ones costume jewelry if you like I don't know why I bought those or maybe they're in a bag of other things I bought I like them 
but they're more of a you know they're a dressing up box thing aren't they um or, or for children to wear or play dressing up in or anyone who wants to but that was the idea in my head about it anyway that's what they symbolized the fuck trash um what was it oh so i bought the palomino for that reason it was a little bit like uh, you want to see it oh god's sake let's have a coffee i've managed to teach my son yesterday to grind the coffee fine because it should last a bit longer you know why 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 surface area is smaller and there's more of it that's what I may go Turkish and start boiling it in the pan to make it go further still. I may not though. I don't know. It's a possibility, isn't it? Yes, they say it is. Right, let's drink it and see how dirty it is. No flavour in it whatsoever. You know why? I like my coffee. Even though it's fine, it's okay. It tastes a bit like muddy water. Rather than air spirits. Uh, uh, God's sake. <laughs> Here's Simba, look. I found him in the road the other day when that man pulled up and offered me to get in his car. I thought afterwards, oh, it's just a, a cooling matata, isn't it? There he is. Hello. He was just a little cub trying his luck for me. Akuna Matata for the rest of our days. Oh, it's going. I've got a bone in my knee as well. It's an old person thing. That's the other thing. Oh yeah, I was going on to that. Sorry, my Cancerian house person. The crab is like the house, isn't it? They go into their shell. They're, that is the house. That's crabs. I've talked about this to other people when I've explained it. Because our oh, Cancerian men, they're blah blah blah. Uh, well, it's a protective shell, partly. They live within their protective shell. They're all soft on the inside. <sighs> Pisces, I would say. Do you know, this is funny, because when we've gone out socially, I've noticed this. I said, what's that sign you? Blah, blah, I often do it. And very often, we're all Pisces sitting around the table, shoaling together. It's funny. It's funny to me. The other day... There was two Pisces, so this is why I said it. This person, one of them I already know is Pisces, and the other two were Aquarius. They said, well, you're close to Pisces, aren't you? But I explained this thing to them. They're the water carriers also. But um, the Pisces are the elder of the Zodiac. So I've often said to my Piscean mates, because we're all fucking crackpots, so everyone thinks we've got Alzheimer's, but actually we're just, do you know what, the we're just the wizened old ones. We don't really give a shit. I think it's partly that. Um... Anyway, let's have a look at this old... I know it's a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm going to tidy it up for... I've not dressed the altar for a while. And I put this thing in front of it. It's protecting all the things on there. But um, things collect and then you read them if you're a squying old squatch. So there's the, there's the copper pot with the lace in it. I just explained that. Here's my Palomino that I bought myself. You see what I mean? It's a little bit, it's a little bit fuck trash, isn't it? I love it though. I went back and got it. It was a pound. Um, but the children will be allowed to play with it. This is my Appalachia, but it's actually grey. The startled one. So I got that. I got that for you know who to ride around on. Do you remember? But I did actually send him an Appalachia, and then he fell off and shattered his um, shattered his pelvis. And I was playing around in it in the kitchen. So he's not allowed to ride it for a bit. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be an Appalachia when I bought it. When I put him on it, that's just another thing that came back I was thinking about afterwards. You mean you know who? This guy. The Mountie. Look, can you hear his pelvis shaking around inside? He can sit on the horse better now, though. And I glued his foot back on. Hello. My doll collection, Luminati doll collectors. I put that before. 
anyway, so he's back up there next to his post, 88, the beach hut. Oh, he's popping up there. He can't stand properly anyway. Never mind. Doesn't matter. He's, 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 being, he's been held up by the spirits. Um, <laughs> there's an angel on here as well. That'll be okay. Oh, the horse is falling down now. And everything else. Let's just stand it back. Yeah, that's it really. So there's the 30p and the mushroom that I just saw again after looking at the potatoes. Look, I'm not making it up. They're still there. I pulled them out of the garden. What else is on there? Crystal ball. They're two by two animals and the one side are those cards. They're just being blessed. My bowl, my son bought me back from Turkey, which is now on the altar with an orange in that he gave me as well. So I've got that tucked away, but I'd forgotten. Uh, forgot to eat my vitamin C. And there's the coffee beans, look. And the treat thing for the air. But also, I did notice this actually, I forgot to say, I'll say it now. It's the acorns I've put on there. And you can make acorn coffee, can't you? So, but the peacock's looking at the acorns because they're poisonous. And the chick, I don't know, maybe there's more. And there's an owl on there as well. That seems to have found its way in to the squying bowl. That's another squying bowl. Uh, and my old nanny's cup, small cup of coffee. And she did actually get Alzheimer's, so maybe there's something something there to be connected up it's the air spirits maybe make a connection i wanted to read on that alzheimer's thing the other day but i couldn't do it i have worked with people with alzheimer's um anyway what else? Mm. That's okay. The devil's. Uh, I don't have anything in the devil's one. Last time there was a five. The devil's bridge. There was five pounds in there last time, but I think there's only tuppence in there now and a fake coin. Which is funny in itself. It's one I got passed over. Oh, that's right. It has. It's got like. Two cents or something. I can't see what it is. One foreign coin. India. Two two things from India. And this that looks like a two pound coin, but it's not. It's a, it's from where is it? I can't see. Is it Russian? I can't see. It's funny though, isn't it? And then tuppence. The old, you know who, in the Devil's Bridge. It's enough to make me laugh, anyway. Um, where's the back gone off it? There we go. And then I looked upstairs in my purse, and there's still a pound in there. So that was another blessing from the ho ho hos. And that's my blue house that can't get open. But I think there's a coin in there. I tucked one back in. Oh yeah, fifty p. So I'm actually I'm okay. I'm okay for cash until today's over. Uh, and I've got all these little ho 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 things. Just a tip tip for me through. <laughs> I explained to Marshall when he came back just now, I was screaming and shouting at him because um, I've lost these trousers and I've I've just I'm determined to think you know who the wardrobe thief has taken them. I couldn't find them the other day. I wanted to wear them to go out and they've disappeared. And um, I'm always first. Look, that's come up. I am always first. I was the first born child in the family. Well, the official one, anyway. And I'm the first to have my things taken. I wanted to wear them today when that woman's coming. I wanted to wear them the other day as well. I can't find them everywhere. I've pulled everything out. I did say, that's why I was so annoyed. I thought he'd stolen my coffee and then I it had turned up. I told him that as well. Um, and then I was, 
I'm still annoyed that I think she's stolen my trousers. She did steal one pair of trousers though. So she's the first. She's the first to be accused. The lesson was they may still turn up, like the coffee did. But um, you know why? I'm the elder of the zodiac. With my Alzheimer's, nobody loves me. We can bring all that into it. Nobody cares about the old people. They get forgotten. Here are the ho 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 things. Look, I'll show you. No one's look. That's the remains. That's the, that's the engines out of the TARDIS. <laughs> but these are all over the floor. Look, 25th of December. Ho ho ho. Like tickets spread around. That's five pence behind them as well. It's just a little five pence. There's a little charm out of the pudding. More we'll tackle it. bat i'm talking about the bat that flew past that's two nights in a row i call, used to call them night well, the, the swallows and the swiss for day day bats i used to call them and pisces used to be called swallowtails but i just googled again bats look she's playing the ball it's growth balls that's what spiritual tennis knocking things backwards and forwards to people but um they can mean different things, can't they, bats, to different people. That came up. But the Chinese word for bat is foo, and, which is the same for the Chinese word for luck. Apparently, apparently. So, but they're a magical thing and they can bring things back and forth between the astral, astral things. And I had that dream, didn't I, this morning, after hearing the bat about the medication and it being to confuse or some of it anyway it's to confuse her let's to get that further well it could be for a lot of reasons i told the other day i was saying about like for control <laughs> but if we were to Oh, I don't know. It's long, isn't it? Say Big Pharma, the conspiracy thing. They want control of medication for a lot of reasons. And don't want us to know that we can get certain benefits from plants. Now, that laughed me up as well when Finny put that meme up the other day, Ryan Potter. Probably because he's another one who's considered poppy. A big farmer watching you heal yourself without medication. But I know it's more complex than that. Is it? Probably. Probably. Probably true. <laughs> I've just got a bag of rocks around my neck, that's all. Robins are pooing all over my house. I've had another robin yesterday. No robins are angels. So I've got that one peeping at me when I look in bed just to make sure it's there. And I found another one yesterday on the floor in the kitchen. I'll show you. Let's go and have a look at it together. Robins are angels, you know. It threw itself on the floor. I mean, I did buy these myself, but it's just the fact it threw itself on the floor. Just so I saw it to remind me. You want to see the heart that threw it as well? I'll show you it. It's a wooden bead. But it just came at a point when I was thinking something. And then it was there on the floor. That's just a little sign from the universe. There we go. Another robin. His mouth just sitting there. I didn't know what to do with it. I might stick him on the covers, but it was just on the floor. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. <laughs> There's the harp. I don't know where it's gone now. It was a wooden heart I picked up out of the road. Just a little wooden bead. I know where it's come from now. I thought afterwards where's that come from? Oh, I know where I put it. I put it in the letterbox to send it back. And there was another one in there. In the butter box. How does it work? I remembered afterwards. It's the oil, isn't it? It's the oil in the butter that slips it through the, slips it through the asphalt curtain. See, look, a butterfly 
those two things that was the e i formed it into an e for i've got more actually an e for hmm, i'm sorry i don't know s aesthetic that's the wooden bead anyway and that's the other one that i found in there that i didn't know i'd put in there so maybe it's come back or someone else has put it in but that's back in the bar box that's an old that was you can see it now can't you the free blue roses and the red rose Corley's butter box um this post box Blick I don't know that's just coming up from Blickling Hall maybe uh, but the red heart was off the charm on this on the on the uh, on the dick <laughs> my dick charm it was hanging on there on a bell it's fallen off there one of the charms on it it's okay there's still a, there's still a heart charm on it there we go it's just a it's not pornographic it's just one of those sort of um wiccan things of the masculine and feminine of being in balance I know, they do look a bit like testicles around my neck, don't they? If you want to be that person, the old stones. I don't care if that is what you say. Darling, Tressica. If you could say it, I can say it as well, sister. Um... Else came up yesterday. Why did that come up? Well, I was looking at. Uh, I was just doing a walk, and there was a Volvo. First of all, saw the Audi with four rings. So I thought, oh, what is that riding with four, four wives? You have four rings, don't you? I, I couldn't be bothered to check the relevance of that because it's Audi Saudi. I'm sure it is. And then I saw a Volvo. My granddad had Volvo, and I had two Volvos. It looked like Saturn. I'd forgotten about it being the arrow and the masculine of Mars, but there was a. Uh, it looked like rings going around it, and another one going through, and then I saw another one. And um, then it was up the two O's in Volvo. And it's like the rings of Saturn. So I wondered if it was connected to Saturn. So I googled that anyway. Uh, it's connected to Mars because the arrow is the masculine. But um, the rings around Saturn, and then I read on Saturn and the rings, and you can't stand on the rings or something. Well, you can't, but you're on Saturn. But. Um, and so then I had to Google is Saturn a masculine or feminine pl planet, and I think I've forgotten already. It's another masculine planet considered masculine. Um, and then I had to Google Pisces, and apparently Pisces and Scorpio are both feminine. They're both water, so they're both considered feminine. So do you know what? I couldn't be more fucking feminine, could I? There we go. How about that for a thing? <laughs> Because I'm Piscean with Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Ascending. Feminine, feminine, feminine. Apparently, if you believe all that old whack. It's true. The red. The red blooded fae. The fee. Iron. That's the periodic table. Fee. Uh, there's a hair in my dinner. It's not one of my hairs either. Where the hell's that come from? I don't have long hair. Where's the fucking long hair come from? Excuse me, it's that long. Can you see? From my finger to this bit of broccoli. That's fucking wank. There's not any long haired people live in this house. Uh, I've got food in at the moment, so I'm just putting pasta. We're having Vitalite for crap. I just put some hemp seeds in. And I'm going to steal some. It's the lucky hair, my mother used to say. 
Who's got the lucky hair? Just stick it on the side of the plate. Send it back to the kitchen. Why is it lucky? I don't know. Maybe it's lucky because it draws attention to the fact that somebody's not been wearing a hairnet in the office. I don't know. You just get used to these things being a thing. seeing some bolognese sauce off my son he said yesterday he didn't mind i gave him some pasta and he gave me some sauce so there's still some left to play on what do i need now i don't know i'm starving then well i'm not starving ravenous and maybe i'm going to put some more green in it some of this old nasturtium looks brown again platelets it must be good for your platelets it's platelet shaped look what i was going to do i couldn't be bothered in the end was just make some pesto out of the hemp seeds and this and just grind them up together because i have them in the cupboard and it's like a chelsea stretch proofing um i'll just chop them up and do it that way read up on making acorn coffee later on if I need to. Old canned coffee, jerry canned coffee. Right. Uh. This is for me as a dog again. The old dog probably. It tastes okay. Um, what else was I going to put in it? Nothing. Oh, pepper. A pip of pepper. Piperel. That's right, the piperel bat. 